Hey guys, Yui here. So I am in my car today and you know what that means? Uh, that means that I will be planting somewhere else other than my garden today. So what I'm gonna show you today is my kind of uh, method on how to lay plants out before I plant them at the site where I'm going. So I picked up some plants at a nursery and um, I'm working on a country club. And obviously it's a public space, so they need a lot of color throughout all summer. And it has to be polished, but somewhat wild. So I think my plant selection kind of meets those requirements. But um, anyway, it has to also be deer resistant and like drought resistant. So there's a lot of check marks that needed to check. So I'm going to show you how I lay out the plants before they go on the site. All right, you guys, so this is what I do to kind of visualize the final planting. Uh, and I do it a lot, actually. Uh, I draw up a bed on my, as you can see, a cracked driveway. And um, this is, I think it was 12 feet in diameter. And um, the inner circle, I actually planted perennials there already. And then I, ha I just have to work around on the uh, fringe here. So I decided to go with a mix of perennials and annuals that will bloom all summer long because this is a public place and we need color pretty much all the time. And the idea is, is to go with the lowest annuals and then they get taller as um, to like the middle of the bed. So I'll start with this alyssum. And alyssum is an absolute workhorse in your landscape. They bloom all summer long pretty much from June to November. And this is just white alyssum. There's tons of varieties. This particular one grows to about eight inches wide and six inches tall. And then the next one is Angelonia. And look at this color. This is the dark purple. And the contrast is beautiful. And Angelonia grows uh, to about foot tall and foot wide. The next plant is Gara. This is a pink one, but look at the burgundy leaves. So even when it's not blooming, just beautiful leaves, beautiful structure. Then I have Cleo, uh, Cleome Cleo Magenta, and they're kind of like pink to purple flowers. This one about one and a half foot tall and one and a half foot wide. And then I have Gara here. This is the white one, just one of my favorite plants has this very romantic look to it blooms all summer long and then this is a new one that I'm gonna try this year this is Alterna Thera uh, this is dark prince uh, purple prince I'm sorry and this plant is kind of like the bold structure I need in this bed otherwise it's too wispy for me uh, but check this out these this plant and the alyssum. How beautiful is this? And then I add purple uh, angelonia. Beautiful combination. So this is pretty much it. This is how I lay out my plants because I'm very paranoid this way. Like I'm afraid it's not gonna look good. So before I go on site, I always try to make sure that I have the right number of plants, I have the right spacing, because like the little ones need to be spaced about uh, a foot apart and then the big ones about a foot and a half apart. So I'll have to make sure, you know, everything is done correctly. So I'm, when I'm um, out there laying them out, it goes very smoothly. Anyway, I think this is it. And by the way, look at this viburnum blooming. It's, I just decided to show you because it's like right here. How beautiful is this? Oh, and the allspice. If you guys never smelled allspice, it smells amazing. Oh, just, just a little something beautiful again.
All right, guys, so I laid the plants out. It looks really good. Uh, I can't wait for them to fill in. Thank you so much for coming along with me and seeing how this process works. And if you have any questions or comments, post them in the comment section below. And I will also post all of the plants that I showed you in the description box below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.